Hey guys, this is my review on the Victrix Gambit Pro BFG controller. And just letting you know, there will be timestamps on the bottom. So if you want to get to a specific part, you can. I will be breaking down what you need to know about this controller. If you honestly want to watch a full spec breakdown, see how many milliseconds it takes, see if it's the fastest new controller on the market, this, then, the third. If you want to see something that much into detail then I'll recommend you some different videos right right here in a second other than that there are timestamps on the bottom I will make sure that you know I include some hand cam gameplay and uh, yeah you guys just let me know if you enjoy thank you hey guys just letting you know this is the Victrix Pro BFG and this is the box it initially comes in as you can tell I already have it out but let me just show you everything that it comes with initially uh, so once you finally get it open, it'll come with this box in there, this carrying case. I'm gonna be honest with you, this case is very solid, but unless you're gonna be, you know, taking it to a friend's house everywhere, you know, things like that, I don't really think you need it, but it's nice to see that, you know, it at least comes with the option. You know what I mean? Do that. You are greeted with this. You are greeted with a USB Type-C cable, which I have already tested and everything. Very good, very responsive. And then you come with the little tool right here and the little buttons right there. I'm gonna be honest with you, unless you're playing like very competitive fighting games, there's really no reason to put this on there. Uh, I mainly play FPS games, but I've tested this, this thing out with like Tekken 6 and Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm 4. It was very good, very uh, responsive. I like the clickiness of it. I just don't like the fact that these buttons aren't as clicky as these. Like, you can hear that. Versus, I mean, you can still hear it, just it's not as satisfying, at least to me. And uh, yeah, this is what it initially comes with. This is everything here. And. For this, it does come with two thumbsticks. Um, I just decided to put the tall one here. And the buttons, and the D-pad, and the joystick, they're very responsive. The paddles, though, is what I really wanted to call attention to. The paddles here are very responsive and very clicky. They feel really nice, and they just naturally rest like where your other two fingers rest. It's just really responsive and it's really easy to map the buttons out so yeah also the trigger stops here i don't know if you guys noticed but victrix is very known for their trigger stops and jesus christ that is practically nothing yet i'm mean, like oh that's so satisfying but yeah um this is just a build of the controller and uh yeah we'll get on to the review in just a second
So the main question of this video is, is this controller for you and should you buy it? 
Honestly, it all depends on what kind of games you're using it for. If you're using it for fighting games such as Injustice, Mortal Kombat, Street Fighter, Tekken, or you know, maybe even something like Ultimate Ninja Storm. I'm going to be honest with you, I do not think this controller is the controller you should buy. Just for the simple fact that I know there are fight sticks out there that are a little cheaper than this and you know at least with that you have the range of you know being able to press a whole bunch of buttons with one hand and moving the joystick with the other. So in my opinion I just don't think it's worth it if you're using it for fighting games. As for FPS games though I would say it is a definite buy only if you're looking to compete or only if maybe you're looking to make content you know and you like the four bat the four paddle trigger or the four paddled um controller i'm gonna be honest though i'm gonna be honest okay this controller is not for the casual at all whatsoever okay there are many more better options out there okay if you're just looking to play because you have fun this that and the third i'm gonna be honest with you this is not the controller for you and i say that literally just because Let's be honest, if you're not going to be competing in tournaments, sweating your ass off going. You know, there's just no point, you know what I mean? Get a DualSense Edge. Those controllers are also very, very, very good. And I hear they last a good, decent while, okay? But maybe, you know, you're looking to compete in some kind of tournament. And, you know, you need a controller. But maybe you don't want to buy a scuff because you hear bad reviews about them all the time. Or maybe you don't want to buy an Xbox Elite because you also hear bad reviews about that. You know, so far, this controller has been getting a lot of support. Uh, the, firm, uh, the firmware for the controller just released not too long ago. Uh, as of me recording this and uh, yeah so far it's getting updates I can use it it's really good and honestly I would recommend it to anyone looking to actually compete and you know actually looking to get better for FPS games or even third-person shooters things like that so yeah for overall I'd give this controller a solid 9 out of 10 I'm gonna be honest with you it's a very solid controller the only complaint I really have about it is that it's all plasticky but even then at the at the end of the day it's comfortable it has nice triggers it has nice paddles it has a decent sized uh, thumbstick you know everything just feels so good and responsive with this controller and honestly I wouldn't have it any other way but honestly that's my review on the Vitrix Gambit Pro BFG and we'll see if I get enough likes on this video I'll do a review for the Astro C40 but yeah this controller is not for the casual and if you're looking for a good decent controller for FPS games and things like that I think it's a very good solid choice and with that you guys have a wonderful day like subscribe I'll see y'all later